So the reason why I told my story because I moved from Iraq to Syria and from Syria to Iraq and then I saw this big misunderstanding about the, the world of Iraq and Syria and people don't know much about back home. So I got some of these questions, do you guys have schools back home, do you guys have chairs and stuff like that and this really got my attention. I was so moved by Abubakar and his family's strength and resilience that I really wanted to honor their life by telling their story and helping them tell their story. I really wanted to share my story. Hello, my name is Abubakar Arabia. My name is Winnie Young. I'm the storyteller of the book Homes. And I'm the writer of Homes. A common theme that I notice as I was listening to Abubakar and his family member's story is um, their sense of togetherness and how this family, um, out of pure love and survival too, they held together and they helped each other in a way that was full of light. I think it's important for the people to know what the good stuff that happened back home because I think people should know that we are really similar to each other, there's not a big difference. And why the people should know the bad things, I think people should just know that we are, there's people who are still suffering over there. It took us about three months of interviewing, and so Abubakar always led the conversations. He would come in every day, and he, I would say, okay, what do you want to tell me about? And he would lead the conversation. Uh, we starting to talk about my life, every day a new story. And of course, after I got my father permission and my family, we talked about it at lunchtime, after school, and that's how Start. It took us three months. His father said something to Abubakar that really resonated with me and he said, um, we don't carry these things with us, we simply carry on and that I think applies to everybody's life. I mean, I remember when I was a teenager, um, we focused on a lot on how we're different and this book I hope would show that will really, we're not that different. There's a lot of young people who are my age, they read the book and they loved it a lot and they were really surprised and they got a lot of questions about how, how to help the newcomers and stuff like that. I was so moved by Abubakar and his family's strength and resilience that I really wanted to honor their life by telling their story and helping them tell their story. I look at success as a writer through the lens of a teacher and I feel like if you have had a chance to tell your story, whether it's through uh, writing a book or poetry or a song or creating a sculpture or a short film, that is success. It's when you have shared a story that has moved you, whether it's your own personal story or someone else's. If you have read the book, there is there is there is the story where I, where my cousins and some friends who told me don't do not forget about us, do not forget about Syria. I was happy because I felt like I'm helping people here to understand what it is like back home in Syria and Iraq, and I also I was also happy because I felt like I'm helping people back home as well.